No. Trina, listen to me. You you can't do this to me now. Not this moment. It's so close to the review. Now what's the issue here? Why not? We come down for a moment. We shall discuss this when we get back from Belgium. Can we? Why not? Listen, Trina. I am not going to sign the divorce paper. Alright? Hello? Trina? Trina? Dr. Jamie Lim, a young, ambitious, and brilliant registrar at an established hospital, had his whole life ahead of him. Married to a young, beautiful pediatrician, expecting the first child shortly, and earmarked as one of the rising stars of the medical profession. Dr. Jamie was without a doubt the envy of his peers, but Dr. Jamie was also a man with dark secrets, and one of those secrets would soon come back to haunt him in a way that he could never expect. I'm Mutt, and welcome to another episode of Incredible Tales. Jamie. Jamie. Hi, Uncle Tennis. Am I interrupting? No. Of course not, Uncle Tennis. Is everything okay? You haven't been yourself lately. I uh, yeah. I'm fine. Don't worry, Uncle Tennis. I'm alright. How's Trina? When is she coming back from the convention? Uh, I guess about a couple of weeks later. You know, I received a report recently about an incident at Uh, Uncle Kenneth, you know, actually it was just an accident, but no harm was being done. Listen, Jamie, I've known you since you were a little boy. You can talk to me about anything. Uncle Kenneth, I say I'm okay. I'm, I'm sorry, Uncle Kenneth. I guess I'm just a little bit tired. Your father was my best friend. I made a promise to him before he died to watch out for you. I'm really sorry, Uncle Kenneth. I heard about you and Trina. Trina and yourself are two of the most promising young doctors we have in this hospital. The board has high hopes for you. I trust you will resolve this before the board convenes next month for the staff review. I've put in a personal recommendation for the both of you. Don't disappoint me. Cindy, do you see an old lady hanging around here? Frail, messy hair, in pyjamas and a body side. 
Trina, I've been trying to reach you. Can you please give me a call back when you receive my message? I love you, honey. Do you know? Trina? Jamie, please stop calling me. Something's happening here. I need you with me, Trina. Jamie. Don't make this any harder than it already is. No, Trina. You listen to me, can Trina? Jamie, is there someone in the room with you? No! MRI scans came out fine. There's nothing technically wrong with you, Jamie. Then, 
how are you going to explain what I'm experiencing? Hallucination. Too much stress and fatigue can cause your... Uncle Kenneth, I know what I saw, okay? Well, if you need to speak to a psychiatrist, I know someone... Go get some rest, Jamie. You look terrible. I'm back from a conference. I just came home to grab some stuff. No, Trina! Please don't go. I need you. Dear, can we please just talk? Look, I really need to go. I have an important meeting. I'll wait for you at home, dear. I love you, dear. The lady standing behind you has a face full of blood.
kill you. You do what I ask you then. Whatever you are, whatever you are, then my life is safe. Then my life is safe. Finish. Okay, I'll give you. You can get all of it. I give it to you. Think the rest. I give you all of them. <laughs> I could not believe it when I saw her again. They were pushing her into A and E. Someone had discovered her and brought her in. If only I knew then that I was signing and authorizing the hospital's preservation of a fetus in the histology. If only I knew then that her blood would forever be on my hands. Seeing visions, odd things, having weird encounters, retribution. It's all retribution. No, Trina, listen to me. You, you can't do this to me now! Not this moment! It's so close to the review! Why not? We come down for a moment. We shall discuss this when you get back from Belgium. Can we? Listen, Trina! I am not going to sign the divorce paper. Hello? Trina? Trina? What's going to happen to him? The board has voted for his immediate dismissal. I'm going to take him back to the hospital for further observation. How about you and the baby? I got your resignation letter this morning. I'm going back to Belgium. They offered me a job. Take care of yourself, Uncle Kenneth.
It's easy to take things for granted when life is good. We tend to become complacent and forget that our actions have implications. Whether you believe it or not, the simple concept of cause and effect applies to us all. We sow what we reap, and life has its way of holding us responsible for what we do. And some of these reminders may just come in the form of an incredible tale.